Steam Next Fest is finally back, which means I have once again picked my favorites from hundreds of demos. This time I've tried my best to find games that don't have a huge following yet, and I really hope you will find something you like. So without further ado, let's start with Shadows of Doubt, an immersive sandbox stealth game set in a fascinating sci-fi city overflowing with crime. As a private investigator, you follow leads, gather evidence, and use a variety of gadgets to track down a serial killer. What makes this game feel so unique is that, unlike other detective games that put you on rails, you are free to go wherever you want in this fully simulated city. Tail suspects and break into their workplaces at night, crawl through air ducts to find out what your creepy neighbors are up to, check their call histories, emails or secret documents, and interrogate or bribe their friends and co-workers. How far will you go? And what kind of a detective will you be when no one forces you to play by the book? Speaking of books, let's dive into a world where anything written down comes to life. Inkbound is a unique turn-based roguelike from the creators of Monster Train. Take on dangerous creatures that have broken free from their books and save the magical world alone or in co-op. The combat is tactical and turn-based but also very fluid, as you can move freely and simultaneously. Actions can be chained quickly, however both movement and abilities consume mana, so challenging fights often require strategic planning and precise timing. Upgrade your stats and skills, draft new ones, and find powerful synergies to rid this world of evil. If all this sounds too stressful, maybe you should spend some time in the fairy tale lands of Fabledom. City builders aren't exactly known for being the coziest games out there, but you definitely won't need guides and Excel sheets here. Of course, your kingdom won't build itself, but the hardworking Fablings don't ask for much. Just give them a warm house, food and water, and they will gladly serve you. Assign jobs, decorate houses, grow your kingdom and send out messengers to trade, challenge or negotiate with other kingdoms. Who knows? Maybe you will even find yourself a prince or princess to live happily ever after. What happens when you mix Hades with Smash Bros is probably what the devs behind Spiritfall were asking themselves. This fast-paced action game combines platform fighter combat with roguelite mechanics and a map similar to the one in Slay the Spire. Slash and smash your way through hordes of enemies and accept powerful blessings from elemental spirits to enhance your abilities. In between runs, you can use gathered resources to permanently unlock new weapons, upgrade your skills, and alter the world's rules in your favor. Definitely not in your favor is the world in I Am Future, but you were lucky enough to be fast asleep while a catastrophic event flooded most of the planet. Without a care in the world, you wake up and find yourself on an overgrown rooftop. Use your bionic arm and the resources around you to build a comfy home, craft handy tools, and disassemble old devices. Spend your time farming, fishing, and cooking, or automate your chores with the help of robots in one of the coziest base-building survival games ever. Sure, there are some mutated life forms to take care of every now and then, but other than that, life is great in the future. Another base-building survival game set in a very different time is Tribe Primitive Builder. After being exiled from your tribe for having ominous visions, you join a small settlement and become their builder. In the beginning, you do most of the work yourself. Gather resources, craft tools, construct buildings, and provide food for your growing tribe. But ultimately, the goal is to automate resource collection and production by building specialized huts and assigning workers to it. So if a chill building management game without combat and only a minor storyline sounds like something you might enjoy, become an exile and restore the glory of your tribe. Finally, we have Astrea Six-Sided Oracle, a deck-building roguelike similar to Slay the Spire, but with dice instead of cards. You play as one of the six oracles, each of which has their own unique dice set and skills. Instead of killing enemies, you're actually purifying corrupted creatures by using your purification and corruption dice. Purification heals you and damages enemies, while corruption works the other way, unlocking powerful abilities for you to use. There's a lot of room for customization, from choosing between safe, balanced, and risky dice to artifacts and robot companions, all the way to the ability to swap out individual die faces. To me, these unique mechanics, in combination with the satisfying risk-reward system, make this the most promising upcoming game of the genre. And those are the games that I think are definitely worth checking out. Please let me know which ones I missed and share your favorites in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and make sure to drop a like and subscribe if this was helpful.